What makes a bull great? Is it size? Big bull, strong bull, he just got it on. Or is it speed? And this is what you call a whirling derby. Is it longevity? From the first time I seen him buck till the day they retired him, I don't think I've ever seen him have one bad trip. Or attitude. The meanest of the bunch, I think he hated his own mother. Today on Total Bull, the men who have ridden and owned these magnificent beasts will decide just which one is number one as we count down the 10 greatest bulls in PBR history. Countdown begins with the 10th ranked bull of all time, Clayton's pet. He's been ridden just 13 times in over five years on tour. He can ride this bull, but it doesn't matter what you did last time, yard dart right there, just slammed up. Clayton's pet is a really big, strong bull. Uh, I've had him three times and probably rode him combined time of three seconds, maybe. I've been three times. He's 0 for 2 on Clayton's pet, but if he can just keep his feet down, now he's 0 for 3 on Clayton's pet. Oh, Clayton's pet, he's a big, strong, sharp break rods, and, and uh, most guys don't like him because he hops and skips. You know, instead of just one kick, he goes like two kicks on one, and uh, very powerful. He's on one Probably one of the most difficult bulls to ride his pen, but he's off to a good start right here. Great yeah, bother. Right. He might take him tonight. He's going to do it. He'll get the job done on the big Rodeo. He just explodes out of the chute, starts left. And this bull weighs a ton, too. Chris Shivers made one of the best rides I've ever seen on him this year. Here he comes, let's listen in. He can go right, he can go left, and even if he starts one direction, for sure he's gonna jump out of that and go the other direction. He's not an easy one. Looks to the right, now he's going left. Can he get there? He got over there. He got over there, come on. Hang on, isn't that? Boom. He's a great bull from Jerry Nelson. He's been around a long time, and he don't show any signs of weakness. Oh, boy, don't quit now. Over the course of his career, 75% of all qualified rides on Clayton's Pet were in the 90s, with the average score being a big 91.5. He went unridden in 2002. At number nine, it's the 1998 Bull of the Year, Moody Blues. That bull has been so great. He won Bucket Bull of the Year. Moody Blues, that bull, that's a great bull. You know, he, he's, he stayed around for years. There it is, right in the gate. Little fast spinner into his hand. Phenomenal bull came from the burgers um, out there. Usually, start to the left, um, drop you in there if, you, if you're too aggressive. If you weren't aggressive enough, uh, blow you out the, to the right. If you went to riding him, uh, he's going to change directions and, and try to buck you off the other way. Smart, uh, another one that had the longevity of a you know a bull that doesn't come around very Moody Blues is so great because he has a heart that's bigger than any bull, I suppose. Lots of bulls will uh, will kind of ease off and kind of start not bucking as hard as they get older and get rode a bunch because they just get tired and wore out. But Moody Blues, he never ever wore out and uh, just bucked hard every time. Two great athletes, both going in different directions. Mike Lee, he's on his way up. Moody Blues, he's on his way out. Moody Blues was... Um... He was a great bull. He um, and lasted for a long time. Just spin really fast and a lot of kick and, and never gave up. You usually see a bull that can be in the top 15 bulls for a couple years. Moody Blues, he's, he was in there for, for a long time. 
And not only was he in there, he bucked every time, right up to the time they retired him. There was 90 some points on him. So Moody Blues was a great bucking bull. Moody Blues was the 1998 PBR Bull of the Year. In 99, he was ridden only six times in 23 trips. And in 2000, he was the PBR's High Money Bull of the Year. When we come back, our countdown continues with a look at the most dangerous bull ever bucked. You're watching PBR Total Bull on OLN. Welcome back to PBR Total Bull. We're counting down the 10 greatest bulls in PBR history. And up next, at number eight, it's Babyface, the 1996 Bull of the Year. He's leading the four and then not get rid. Come on, Scotty. Good bull ride. Babyface is a little brindle bull that they named him just right. You know, he's a little cute bull that pretty much everybody wanted to get on. Little uh, red muley, uh, long eyelashes. When you see them in the bucking sheet, you think this bull isn't going to be that much, but sure enough, at that time, one of the rankest bulls ever. Gonna go to the right. Come on now, Glenn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no! Ooh. Holy smoke! Wow. <laughs> Babyface was just a, a good little bull to get on. He was a lot like locomotive, you know. He used to jump out there and turn back every time. He was a cute little old muley and. If you wrote him, he was definitely going to win. Come on, come on, you bet. You know, he's just a good bull to get on. Here we go, to the left, and he's in trouble. Wow. Wait, baby, baby, this little bull's getting older. I mean, he just mucks out at a brewster. Babyface was a bull you just were excited to have him no matter what the circumstances, you know, you'd have got on him for practice. He's a little bull, but he bucks me. Good move. Oh, yeah. Good move. Look at his first oh. down. I hate that guy. The guys like to get on him because he had lots of timing. And I mean, but if you stub your toe, he was bucking you off. Oh, Come on, man. Man. Look at Dono. Mm. Down in the hole. Babyface was the PBR Bull of the Year in 1996, a year in which he was responsible for two of the top five rides. He was also the PBR's High Money Bull a year earlier in 1995. At number seven, the PBR's all-time High Money Bull, Cripple Creek Promise Land. He's in a little trouble. He's in a little trouble. Woo! Promise Land stands out because no, I, don't, I can't think of a time that he had a bad day, you know. Every time he left the chute, he was on top of his game. Guys were 90 points or he'd throw you off. You can't let your feet go. No way to hold on to that rope and curse flat. Woo -hoo! Probably the best bull of all time it would have to be a bull that bucked every trip that lasted longer than any other bull. And as of right now, it probably had to be Promised Land. You know, he's he slowed down just a, just a tad in his older age, but he's been a great bull for a long time. Promised Land, hey Ron, coming left. Get your shoulder to him or oh, get out from under him. Get out of there. Get down. Oh. That bull, from the first time I seen him buck till the day they retired him, I don't think I've ever seen him have one bad trip. He was all you could ever ask for, a great bucking bull. Probably the best bull in my mind ever. Come on, Aaron, bear down. Come on. Whoa! Adam Boy, oh, Tracer! Adam Carrillo in trouble, should lose him, shot out of there. I had him five times, I think I was over 90 on him all five times. Guys have up days and down days, but up for some reason that bull never had an off day. He was good every time, even when he got old. How many bulls, that, that the last time they buck them, you know, they're still 89 points. <laughs> Bucked over 100 times in his career, Promised Land was a three-time high money bull of the year. He was bucking bull of the finals twice and a 1999 bull of the year. At number six, the most notorious bull in PBR history, Bodacious. I think what made uh, Bodacious the probably one of the rankest bulls I ever seen. He was so big and so athletic. You know, he could jump five feet forward and four feet back and, you know, the next jump and, and then be turning back in the air. And he's probably one of the baddest bulls I ever seen.
Bodacious was the rankest bull I've ever seen. He was dangerous every time and strong every time. This bull right here is the eliminator. He's the baddest one in the business, I think. Jim Sharp is jerked loose and bucked off. Bodacious is a handful. Bodacious, he, he was just he was just the badass. And he knew it and everybody else did too. I always felt like that if I could keep my hand in it, you know, I could ride him. Then I drew him in 95 to World Finals. Never had that much confidence in my life that I was gonna be 95 to 100 points and I was mistaken. This bull can catapult out of there like none I've ever seen. He's about set, let's watch it. Two great athletes, watch the flagpole. Here we go. Right up, Tuffy. He's knocked out, open that gate, boys. You know, the second jump, he just comes up and literally just rips my face off and literally ne nearly killed me. And he was, uh, you know, the, the, probably the, the most difficult, most dangerous, most feared. Any time that you would get stretched out, you know, if you get leaned back just a little bit, you know, if your hand didn't come out of the rope, he was, he was gonna knock your teeth out. Bodacious was the 1995 PBR Bull of the Year. He bucked off an amazing 126 of 135 riders who ever dared get on his back. And he is widely regarded as the most dangerous bull in PBR history. When we come back, the PBR's top five bulls. You're watching PBR Total Bull on OLN. Welcome back to Total Bull. Today, we're counting down the top 10 bulls in PBR history. At number five, Panhandle Slim. That's a great bull right there. Look at him. He is catty. He is catty. Now, oh, Panhandle Slim was a great bull, you know. Panhandle Slim, a great bull. Adriano, a great bull rider. Look left, back to the right. You're just getting a bull riding lesson. Slim in the gate with Steve Rose one time. Come on, Scott. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, get out, Sundry. Boy, oh, boy. Panhandle Slim, the meanest of the bunch, like the left, really fast, a lot of gas, and uh, like I said, the meanest there was. Panhandle, look, oh, he got Jimmy. He about had Jimmy right there. Panhandle Slim was a little plumber bull that, that come from uh, Freddie Cordell, I believe, and he was always a bull that was pretty tough in the shoot. When he come out, he meant business, and if you got in his way, he'd run over you for sure. You see, he's back, got his head up, no chance on a rank bull. Panhandle Slim was a bull that, uh, you know, whenever he first came around, you just thought he was just a little tiny spinning bull, and you'd think, man, I'm gonna get on him and just ride him easy. And I had him twice, and I realized real quick that there was a reason why nobody rode him. You know, he had, he had something to him, the way he'd move forward and run you off your rope, and then he wasn't above running over the top of you whenever it was over. Panhandle Slim bucked off 66 of the 80 Cowboys who ever got on him. He was the 1997 Bull of the Year and then was runner-up the following two years. At number four, one of the oldest bulls still bucking on the PBR Tour, Cash. Get up out of there, bull. You talk about a bucker. Mm. Bull was a really rank bull. He was kind of a, a big, long bull, and if you got behind, he was going to bring you down hard. You know, he's a great bull. I always wanted to get on cash, never got the chance, but uh, awesome bull. Did, did the same thing every time. One jump, around to the left, just got it on. Big bull, strong bull. And Luke Snyder is going to ride Copenhagen He's a bull that you can win first on, but you better have your, you better have your guns caught. He's getting some age now, but I mean, he's a bull that's been around for a long, long time, and he's a bull that if you if you dry him in the short go, you're probably gonna be 92, three points on. Drink it away, come on, on. Oh, man, he's trying to put it on him, good effort. He's one of the all-time greats, too. He's an old-timer now, and still takes, it still takes one of the best guys, and they have to be a little lucky to ride him. They have to be having a good day, and everything has to go their way. If they make the slightest mistake, they'll get bucked off, and it's like a, 
50 year old man playing a contact sport and not just competing but but dominating what an awesome animal athlete Copenhagen cash has been and continues to be Cash hasn't been ridden in nearly three years. He was the bucking bull of the 98 finals, and though just four guys have ever ridden him, their average score is over 92 points. When we return, we'll reveal the top three as our countdown of the 10 greatest bulls in PBR history concludes. Stay with us. You're watching PBR Total Bull on OLN. Welcome back to Total Bull and our countdown of the 10 greatest bulls in PBR history. At number three, Red Wolf, a bull with one of the longest careers in PBR history. Red Wolf was a big red bull that, that come from Terry Williams that you look forward to getting on. Come on, Cody, bat out now. Yeah. 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 Red Wolf wasn't really a mean bull. He was just, uh, if you got in his way, he'd run over you. I got on Red Wolf uh, in Houston, Texas one time. I think the old fart pulled a trick on me, you know, he bucked real good. He, he was always honest, he, and uh, I say he pulled a knife on me, but I should have hung on. I kind of a sissy that day for not making the whistle, but I think he may be one of the very greatest bulls of all time just because he lasted for so long. And uh, usually bulls as big as him don't last that long because they're so heavy. and just It's harder on them than it is a little bull that don't have a lot of weight. Red Wolf. Put him on the ground. This is a mean bull. He's bucked so great for so long. Phenomenal. I mean, to have that that type of longevity in a bucking bull is, is, is amazing. He was the kind of bull that you'd want to you'd want to get on, but you had to be on top of your game to, to ride him and. Uh, I think he bucked me off one or two out of three times, and I was one of the best rides I feel like I ever made was on Red Wolf. He may not be the rankest bull ever, but he's sure enough probably one of the best ever, if not the best ever. Red Wolf was the runner-up bull of the year and runner-up bucking bull of the finals in 1997. Although he was ridden over 20 times in his career, his average score was an incredible 92.5. At number two, the 2002 Bull of the Year, Little Yellow Jacket. Little Yellow Jacket has been a really good bull for a few years now. He's uh, When they first brought him around, he was pretty small, but bucked really hard. Now he's kind of grown up and is still bucking really hard. Uh, he's bucking Bull of the Year, and he's the one to ride right now. That Little Yellow Jacket has turned it back even harder and faster this year than he did last year when he won the world title. Every time I see that bull buck, he sends chills down my back. You know, he just gets better and better. He's not a bull that I've ever seen have a bad day. He's a true bucking bull. Jacket just there's never been a bull I don't think that has, has been as well traveled as he has. He's been coast to coast. He's had every good guy on him. He's smart. If, if he gets ridden one week going one direction, he'll change it up the next week. It's just an awesome bull. He just kicks high and spins fast, and that's that's what we like him. It's pretty cool. It's cool to watch. He's just amazing. He's fast. He's got everything. He's got pretty good size, lots of speed, all kinds of athletic ability, and he's competitive. He'll do whatever it takes to get you on the ground. Little Yellow Jacket may be one of the greatest bulls I've ever seen. You know, I can think about a lot of great bulls, but I can always think back of a bad trip that they had. I can't think back and remember a bad trip that Little Yellow Jacket ever had. Every time that bull's ever bucked, he's done it, and he's done it with some authority, and he's bucked hard. You know, if, if you can think of a flawless bull, in my opinion, uh, it may be Little Yellow Jacket. Little Yellow Jacket was the bucking bull of the 2001 finals and bull of the year in 2002. In 2003, he bucked off Chris Shivers in the Million Dollar Challenge. 
And now, at number one, the only two-time bull of the year, the greatest bull in PBR history, Dillinger. All right, here we go. Going to the right. Now he's going out of the way. Did you see the move that bull put on? I mean, I'm telling you, that looks like a cross between Barry Sanders and Emmett Smith. Dillinger's the, the best I've ever seen. He's the only two-time bull of the year in the PBR. He was just so competitive. There was no dirty tricks. There weren't any tricks about it. He's going to kick out of there and spin to the right nine times out of ten. The other time, he's going to kick out of there and spin to the left. But he's just saying, if you can keep up with me, good luck. Buddy, you can't hardly buck much harder than that. This is what a bull rider calls beautiful. Dillinger, great bull. He was strong. He was cool. He had the speed of, of a smaller bull, but he had the strength of a big bull. He was just so athletic, and he just, he was unbelievable. Whoa, round to the right, and he is just hamburger. <laughs> Man, Harrington Dillinger. Welcome to the PBR, Mr. Peterson. Dillinger, I've seen days when he was just so rank, I didn't think anybody could ride him. Day in and day out, you know, Dillinger's probably the greatest bull in the PBR. Dillinger's one of the greatest bulls there's ever been or ever will be. It's not very often you find a bull the size of Dillinger that's as fast and as athletic as him. He, uh, he's a great bull. I had Dillinger twice. He bucked me off both times. Uh, he started out both times to the right. And I kind of had him rolled and he just silly rabbit tricks for kids and went back left on me and just got out from under me twice. So, yeah. He's a bull that I think was one of the best bulls of all time. To me, Dillinger was, uh... You know, he was he was honest. Every time they opened the gate, that bull bucked with, with every bit of his heart. You know, it's hard to see a bull that big and be that athletic, but he was, and he was every trip. He meant to throw you off when you opened the gate. Bubba doesn't even get close. That's oh. a rank bull right there. He just annihilates him. Dillinger will put another notch in his pistol grip. In my opinion, he's the best all time. Dillinger was the only two-time PBR Bull of the Year and was on his way to number three before a leg injury forced him into retirement. He was the bucking bull of the 99 finals and his average score was 93.5. We hope you've enjoyed our countdown of the 10 greatest bulls in PBR history. Please join us next time for more exciting action on PBR Total Bull. Thanks for watching. Run that line.